Hey, real quick before we start today's video, this is just another, you know, like PSA. Like, fellas, you got to take a shower before you put on 40 sprays of whatever you have. The spray, the color, fragrance color, it's not going to, it's not going to do it. It's not going to get you clean, bro. You got to be clean first, then put on the fragrance. Now, what I just experienced, again, now, this, I, I just experienced this a few months back. What I just experienced, this is, I shouldn't have had to experience that, man. You can't put Versace Eros on funk. Take a shower. And the young boy, excuse me, the young man, I don't call him a boy, the young man, he looked like he could take a shower just the way he was put together. But he forgot the most important thing before a hundred sprays of arrows. It was that water and it was that soap. You got to be clean. It helps the fragrance live the way it's supposed to. Low hammers. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deirdre L. Higgs Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video, all right? So, um, smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy and positive vibes. I know how we give it up here on this channel, for sure, all right? So, today, we're going to be talking about the House of Paris Corner, all right? So, uh, Middle Eastern houses and... You know, uh, clone houses are, 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 a, are a significant part in the fragrance community right now, no matter how you feel about them, all right? So today we're talking about one of my favorite, and that is Paris Corner, all right? So we'll be doing some Latafas, some Afnans, and um, I can't think of the other ones right now, but just on the top of my head, we'll be doing some based off those lines as well. But today is all about Paris Corner, which might be my favorite. They might be my favorite of the whole Middle Eastern uh, clone house thing that is kind of very popular right now. All right, so I have seven. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And um, man, bang for your book for sure. Let's go ahead and jump into probably my latest purchase from Paris Corner. And this is uh, Khalil Platinum. Khalil Platinum. This is a inspired by 1A, 1B, 2 Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau EDT, all right? Now, this could be considered a carbon copy. There's a lot of conversation about that out there. Um, to me, this is a little bit sweeter, um, especially on the Tonka bean side. More Tonka bean than coconut and bergamot here. The Tonka bean is the number one player, but it's definitely swirling around that coconut. And I don't get much of the bergamot, um, maybe a hint of citrus. But this one is Tonka Bean and this one is Coconut, all right? And um, like I said, it's a little sweeter version, but it's really good. I mean, when I first smelled it, man, I was taken aback up to how well done this fragrance is. And uh, Paris Corner and, and, uh, did a fantastic job, no doubt about it. And, you know, uh, the performance and the sillage and all that is really good, all right? I get around that five, five to six hours, roughly, uh, with Khalil Platinum. Um, probably could get a little more if I spray on more. Um, but this stuff is really good and I did end up getting a full bottle of uh, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau EDT, but I wear both as you can see we got a little dent in here So it just depends on the situation uh, This one more for the summer evenings Spring evenings and you probably can wear this in early fall as well because it's just really sweet to me Really sweet, but really really good from the house of Paris corner. We have Khalil Platt. Khalil Platinum, good stuff here, man. Awesome bang for your buck. Up next from the House of Paris Corner, from the Amir line, all right, we have Just Bergamot. Man, I love this stuff. This is an amazing summertime fragrance, man. Oh, man, just musky and citrusy, bright. Um, uh, touch of florals here as well. Nice little... Uh, 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 like pedigree feel to it, a touch of green. This stuff is awesome, bro. As you can see, little dent so far in here, man. I've had this maybe I got this, I got this the same time as Khalil Platinum, 
And anytime it's hot and I gotta run around, I've been throwing this one on. It just smells so good. Now this is an expired by fragrance from, uh, I think it's called Labo, uh, Bergamot 22. Yeah, Bergamot 22, and I, I, I've I smelled that one at my local Nordstrom, and this one versus that one, there are some major similarities. I'm going to say it's around that 92 to 95 uh, percentile of how close it is, but honestly, I don't care. I don't care if I ever smell Bergamot 22, I really enjoy this fragrance, and for the warmer months, for the heat, man, this stuff just works, man. From the House of Paris Corner, from the Amir line. We have just bergamot. This stuff is awesome. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. All right, we have number three here. Well, well, the third one, not in order. These are not ranked, but this is just the third fragrance we're talking about. From the House of Paris Corner, from the Killer Oud line, we have Revolution. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome take on Amwage's uh, Reflection Man florals and woods some musk some fresh spiciness i love this stuff man now i will be getting me a full bottle of amwaja's reflection man i will i will because i have a decant of it but this is holding me over and it's going to prolong that bottle making its way to my collection unless some crazy deal just comes up with it but this stuff is awesome i've worn it a couple times during the um, spring and in the summer so far. And every time that I've worn it, um, the ladies love this, all right? I've worn it to my sister's birthday dinner. I've worn it to my best friend's birthday lunch. I've worn this um, a couple of times, like in other places where, at the grocery store when I was running errands during a warmer day, this stuff just gets attention and is very close to Am Watch's reflection, man. Good stuff here from uh, Paris Corner. The Killer Oud line is really nice. We have a second one that we're gonna talk about here from the Killer Oud line, but I have about five or six from the Killer Oud line and they are really good, man. But this right here might be the best bunch from the House of Paris Corner, from the Killer Oud line once again. We got Revolution. This stuff is awesome, bro. It is awesome, big fan. All right, let's go ahead and stick to the Killer Oud um uh the killer oud line from paris corner uh this one is midnight ecstasy now i was only fortunate enough to wear this twice i got this towards the end of the fall or the end of the winter not fall end of the winter and this is a beautiful kind of dark chocolate rose like slight coffee caramel just goodness vanilla in here this stuff is awesome really good man now some people say they can compare this to carlisle or harrod or some for uh, uh none of those i don't know where i saw it at but i saw it and it was like an in-depth oh yeah this is really close to carlisle it's not <laughs> it's don't smell nothing like anything from perfumes of Molly. i mean maybe on the initial opening slightly but no and i don't know what this is truly um, um, going after, I don't know. I, and if you know down below, let me know if you have Midnight XC and what it's supposed to be cloned after uh, from Paris Corner. But this right here is dope. It is great in that colder, cooler weather. Oh my God, this stuff worked. I remember like the chocolate and this fresh spiciness and the rose and that, that it's kind of like a coffee, kind of gourmandish feel. Not a big boom of coffee. You're not going to get that. So don't, do you say it's a coffee fragrance? It is not. But I do get hints of coffee that are that's working with that dark chocolate and uh, uh, helping out that rose. Midnight X is an excellent choice. This one right here lasts on me for a long time. I got about nine hours out of this. I remember, I was like, wow, it's still on my skin. Like... And then last all day on your clothes. So this stuff is excellent. From the house of Paris Corner from the Killer Oud line. We have Midnight Ecstasy. This is dope, man. Not a lot of conversation to talk about it. Not a lot. If you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend it if you're into that style of fragrance. All right. Up next from the house of Paris Corner from the Amir line, we have uh, Identity's Unique Portrait. Unique Portrait. This is a inspired by 1A, 1B, to Frederick Small's Portrait of a Lady. All right, Portrait of a Lady. I love rose. I love rose and uh, there's so many different ways rose can be presented. I've never smelled Portrait of a Lady, um, but if it smells anything like this, 
then wow. Now I will be smelling a portrait of a lady of a lady at some point because I'm gonna start getting into my sample and my decant um even more um before I start purchasing full bottles. But this stuff is awesome. So like I said, if it smells anything like this, um then I'm good and I'll eventually get a bottle, but this is a sexy rose unisex fragrance. Leans a little bit more on the feminine side, just a tad. But if you got confidence and you know how to wear a fragrance and a fragrance don't wear it won't wear you, then you're good to go on this one, man. They did a great job with this. With now I've never smelled Portrait of a Lady. But if it smells anything like this, oh boy. I look forward to definitely seeing what this is about from the House of Paris Corner, from their mirror line, uh, Identities, Unique Portrait. This stuff smells awesome. Dope bottle too, that all black bottle has a plate on it. Uh, it's not a sticker, it's actually a plate, so good stuff there. All right, up next, probably the two that really like changed my life were getting into Paris Corner. Um, up first, from the House of Paris Corner, from the Amir line, once again, we have When Souls Get High. Man, listen to me. Listen to me. My God. The vivid memories of when I initially got this and wore it out are still so... I've talked about it before, but this honey, uh, tobacco, like this sweet cherry vanilla, like this stuff, this is a gourmand bomb. Now, this is uh, a uh, uh, supposed, because I've never smelled this one either, a supposed clone of Killian's uh, Back to Black. Black to Black, that's what this is supposed to be mimicking. The honey, white honey, as they uh, detail it, is so clear. It is so clear, so present, so sexy, mouth watering. Um, this is something that will get you a lot of attention and you will shut it down, bro. It has some nuttiness to it as well. Um, I believe there's like this hazelnut and chestnut accord in here as well. This stuff is amazing. Tobacco, honey, and, and the, nutty, the nuttiness from those two uh, nuts that are in here. <laughs> Pause for anybody out there that's watching. Um, that's a funny thing right now, but this stuff is amazing. From the House of Paris Corner, from the Amir line, I highly recommend this in the fall, in the winter. Men or women, ladies, don't sleep. You can wear this too. We have When Souls Get High. Maybe my favorite from Paris Corner, just maybe. All right, and last but not least, man, I have worn this quite a bit. I love it. And uh, eventually I will get where it is originated from, but right now this is just doing the job. From the House of Paris Corner, from the Ministry of Oud line, all right, we have Oud Satin. Oud Satin. Now this is a direct 1A, 1B inspiration to Mansis Francis Kirkjohn's Oud Satin Mood. There we go. Another rose fragrance, a powdery sweet rose um, that is just amazing. This is the monster of the group. Um, when Souls Get High performs really well um, too, but this is the beast. You're no lie. You're talking 10 plus hours of amazing performance. The sillage is deafening. Um, the scent trail that you leave behind wearing this is crazy. Now, I sprayed this on clothes the first time I wore this, wore my outfit, me and my wife went out. When I did my laundry a week later, as I was getting to that shirt that I wore, the, it hit me in the nose. I was like, wow, man. <laughs> a week later, still on my shirt, just pushing. This stuff is fantastic. Unisex. Um, some fellas that I've seen do reviews on, they say it leans a little bit too feminine for them, not me. Again, if you are, have that confidence, you can wear the fragrance, don't let the fragrance wear you, you won't have that problem. But yes, the, the, there's a powdery take in here, there's rose in here, sweet rose, the vanilla uh, that's in here. This stuff is A plus and a great, great, great depiction of a uh, portrait of a lady. Uh, I smelled, uh, I got like a little sample from it when I ordered, um, Something from Max Aroma a while ago. It's like a little card along with some stuff from BDK. Um, but this stuff is awesome. I love it. Bang for your buck. Nothing on this table costs more than 50 bucks. Nothing on this table costs more than 50 bucks. And I love all seven of these from the house of Paris Corner from the Ministry of Oud line. We have Oud Satin. Oud Satin. 
All right, man, as I said, I'm going to be breaking down my different uh, Middle Eastern houses like the Tafa, Mesa, well, Mesa Hummer is a Tafa, but Latafa, Afnon, and uh, we're doing Paris Corner today. These are my top seven, my favorite seven from the line. Just an amazing job that they do. Bang for your buck. Great smelling, high quality fragrances, man. Um, you can't beat them. And for those who scoff at clones and don't care about clones, and I get it, some people are just at a different level, man. They're experiencing stuff on a level where... They don't want to waste their time with the clone. I understand that too. But those of us who are out here not really trying to set boundaries for ourselves, and it could be a cheapie, it could be a Middle Eastern, it could be a designer or a niche, look into these, man. Look into these if you haven't already. They're really good, all right? So let me know down below in the comments what is your experience with Paris Corner? What do you have? What do you want? What's your wish list? Just let me know what you guys got going on with Paris Corner, all right? Until the next time, y'all know what to do, man. Splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around, all right? Invest in you. Invest in you. Remember what you found in this world, exactly what you are going to get back, that is for sure. All right, y'all. Y'all be cool.